You've captured breathtaking scenery on your camera, a mesmerizing landscape, or maybe a captivating cityscape. But when you play it back, it's just missing that extra punch. That's where the dynamic zoom effect swoops in like a superhero. And guess what? You won't even have to stress over keyframing. Oh yeah, this is in the free version of DaVinci Resolve also. To get started, select the clip and come up to Inspector and make sure you're on the Video tab. And right here is Dynamic Zoom. And it starts zooming from in to out. And you'll notice that we're on a longer clip versus the others. So if I was to do it on the shorter clip, you'll notice that it is going a lot faster. And that is because it is zooming throughout the entire duration of the video. However, it's only zooming out. To change this, you'll just hit swap. And now it's going to zoom in. But maybe you don't like the constant zoom, you wanna add some ease to it. You can easily do that by clicking Dynamic Zoom Ease dropdown. From here, we can choose Linear, which is what it is set to by default. Here it is with Ease In and Ease Out. And Ease In and Ease Out. If you don't like the speed at which it's zooming or the position where it starts and stops, you can control that too. To reveal the on-screen controls, you can do that two ways. First by choosing View, View Overlay, and Dynamic Zoom. The other way to do that is come over here to this little drop down arrow, select dynamic zoom. Depending if you swapped from zooming in to zooming out, you will have either the green or the red box from the inside, and it just shows what position you're going to be zooming in and out from. So this is how it'd be by default. And we can go ahead and stretch this a little bit bigger. And when we're making this bigger, it's going to go a lot slower but we can make that quicker by shrinking the size of the box and we can go ahead and position it like here. Just remember to deselect this overlay whenever you're done using it, otherwise every time you pause, it's going to pop back on. All you have to do is just click it where it's not highlighted anymore. If you really want to maximize your efficiency, all you need to do is apply this to an adjustment layer. To add an adjustment clip, come up to effects, and then effects again and adjustment clip and drag that on top of here and just stretch it out over the clips that we want to have the dynamic zoom go on top of. Select the adjustment clip and just like before in the inspector, turn on dynamic zoom. Now it's going to zoom out uniformly throughout all of the clips. And we can make adjustments. Talk about consistency and efficiency, right? Remember to spread some love by hitting that like button if you found this video helpful. And don't you dare leave just yet. The algorithm's got your back with a tantalizing suggestion for your next video fix. Until then, keep experimenting, keep creating, and keep zooming dynamically. Auf Wiedersehen.